There comes a time in your life when your desire to change must outweigh your desire to remain the same. If this is your time, I want you to know that whatever your circumstances are, you are exactly where you need to be right now. You are stronger than you know. You deserve to live in your purpose and to have a happy and fulfilling life. You're worth keeping your promises to yourself. Every single thing you've done until this point has been enough. You are enough. You always were. My greatest desire is for you to give yourself permission to take a chance on you because you're worth it. Welcome to the True Growth, True Growth podcast. I am Latina Mata, your mindset coach. And in this podcast, we explore and learn all things related to self-love, self-discovery, and inner work. It is the foundation to help you navigate life and make the necessary internal shifts to become the very best version of yourself. It is my greatest pleasure to be with you right here, right now. Throughout this podcast, we get to grow through what we go through together. Welcome to another episode of the True Growth Through Growth Podcast. And today's podcast, I want to touch on something that I think is relatively new to Trinidad and Tobago. Um, But of course, if you've been doing this type of thing before, do let me know because I would love to meet other like-minded people in this space. But I want to touch on revelation breath work now what is revelation breath work what is breath work and why am i thinking that this is something that i need to share on my podcast with my true growth family well essentially let me give you a little backstory you know i like to tell a story um i'm a mindset coach and when i first started this journey when i first started this work in terms of my own personal development and healing I understood things from the basis of law of attraction, thoughts become things, um, you know, that cognitive processing, cognitive behavioral therapy was one of the first things that I learned, and just basically a lot of head-related things, right? And as time went by, so I started my coaching practice, I coached many people from that space, um, I understood the purpose and the point of journaling and doing affirmations, etc. And a lot of those, um, I want to say, cognitive processing. Great, no problem. I saw transformation. I saw growth. I saw progress. And I felt absolutely amazing about it. And so I shared with people who came into my space and I coached people from that space as well. All right, fast forward to 2020. I went through an entire life change and experience once again in terms of relationships etc and the more I dove into energetic management which is something that I um, was part of in terms of a mastermind the more I realized that there was a disconnect hear me there was a disconnect between my mind and my body so I noticed that energetically there were things that I wanted to do cognitively I know that I could do it but to actually execute there seemed to be a disconnect and like everything else well for most things um, social media is a saving grace for me because it's such a big pool of information of course once you curate your feed to be like that right and I'm not sure what happened but sometime probably I don't know between June and August I'm just giving it a a space so that you can have an idea of the time frame I just came across something called breathwork I just came across revelation breathwork to be specific and within my spirit there just felt like this huge call of Latina you need to engage so of course like anything else you stalk the social media page to find out okay more about this but Funnily, funnily is a word, funny enough, the Instagram page that I was learning this from did not really have much detail about what exactly revelation breath work was, right? All I know was, you know, breathing and transformation. Like That's all I saw. Breathing, transformation. Anyways, because of the pandemic, they were facilitating loads and loads and loads of breathwork sessions and 
I also, while I pondered about, hmm, should I even engage in something like this? I saw somebody who I was actually doing another course with. Um, she actually shared that she was doing breath work as well. So it felt like confirmation. Okay, Latina, explore this. And let me just tell you, um, my life changed drastically on so many levels after my very first breath work session from the angle that I received downloads and insights and just emotional release about topics and about situations in my life that I felt as though I had been battling with for so long. So of course, because this is my podcast and this is my safe space and I know that this is a safe community, I'm going to share with you a very personal um, experience. So I believe one of my first breakthroughs, I should say, that I received from this breathwork session was identifying a lot of trauma that I had in terms of, you know, sex and having sex and what does that mean, right? Now, gratefully, I've never been in a traumatic, you know, that big T level in terms of trauma sexually and you know so it wasn't that was the breakthrough but I learned and I was taught and there was a lot of conditioning around what sex was and what it's supposed to be based on my upbringing in the church right and to put it in perspective just to clarify if you know your heart sunk for a moment when I said what I said a few moments ago the conditioning and what I was taught from the church and this is my personal experience. I don't know if you could relate it. But what I was taught was when you fornicate or when you do anything wrong in inverted commas, you basically become unworthy of God's love. Right? And to put that in further perspective, that of course paired with all my other life experiences, it seemed as though that seemed to be the missing piece to my puzzle as it pertained to exploring myself on that level, as it pertained to me, you know, being open in that field in terms of my relationship that I had with God and me just feeling very emotional and sometimes disconnected when I thought about my relationship with him based on this conditioning that I learned or I had that when I did something wrong, that was in the eyes of God, suddenly I'm just unworthy of his love, right? And that, unfortunately, was what I, was my foundation or felt as though was my foundation in terms of the church and spirituality. And that, that download that I received was, I believe, my first encounter with Revelation Breathwork. And there was no, absolutely no turning back after that because for all the years that I had been doing all this mindset work in terms of thoughts become things etc I never realized that I was so disconnected from my body I had been trying to figure things out cognitively for so long and try to piece things together for so long and I'm not saying that there was no breakthrough with that I'm just saying that I had gotten to a ceiling in my journey. I had gotten to a ceiling in, in my self-discovery process. And engaging in this breath work basically helped me tap into a new part of me that I was completely disconnected from. And of course, so that was my first um, breath work session. And I done, I've done zillion after those. And every single breath work session is completely different from the previous one right and depending on where I am emotionally depending on what is my intention depending on what it is I'm looking for I sincerely receive the answers or I get exactly what it is I need even if I didn't know that I needed it in that very moment so that was just my personal testimony of what this breathwork thing is but I'm specifying that it is revelation breathwork I could speak to revelation breathwork because that is the type of breathwork that I have um, single-handedly participated in. Now I am a facilitator of revelation breathwork because I got my certification in that. So when we speak of breathwork, usually 
locally and maybe internationally i don't know but i can speak for locally based on the conversations that i've had with people when you speak breath work people like breath work i remember a client saying on her live what my breath i go do was her phrases i i think let's see not breath work what my breath i go do and when she had the experience she was like oh my god there is absolutely nothing in this world to describe what the experience of breath work was right so this is revelation breath work and it is rooted in um spiritual psychology i learned this from someone named jason amoroso and i don't remember his wife's name but you could also check them out they are called revelation breath work on social media on google you could find them and it's basically a practice that they both came up with after many 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 years of spiritual psychology based with science and all the integration and they created this type of breathing technique and essentially it is you having to do two active breaths in through your mouth and out through your mouth which is actually um, a bit different from other types of breathing exercises right so the bi- the the I mean, the biology the biology behind revelation breath work is not something that i am you know also f- um, knowledgeable about because well that's not my forte in this space but i do know that the impact of this is proven by any scientific um research because of the power that breathing essentially has and inevitably has on your body and regulating your nervous system right so so what happened to me in my first encounter was crazy and so i'm just going to share with you the effects right the physiological effects that you could expect when you do this type of breathing exercise right um now this is because there is an increase in oxygen into your body which of course you're not used to and i also believe that there is an increase in carbon dioxide right as i said i would plug not as i said but i will plug some more details in terms of the biology behind um this type of breathing or breath work on the whole and i leave that for the absolute experts but the space that i prefer to share on and play in is the space that i feel most authentic and in integrity and just completely expansive and lit up and that is the transformation the breakthroughs the downloads the releasing the self loving the self acceptance just all the things that are needed to help regulate that nervous system and just find you and really connect to you and really discover who you are at a soul level right so physiologically when you decide to engage in a revelation breath work exercise right it's usually two parts so there is the space of active breathing and you're doing the belly chest breath right so you go in in through your mouth chest exhale right so that is basically how the breath would sound so it's a belly chest exhale and that's the two breath and you'll be doing that active breathing with music right so with music as you would know all music carries its own energy right so with the first 30 minutes of your breathing active breath active breathing with revelation breath work there will be music and you will be breathing belly chest exhale with this music as the songs progress each song will actually have will be faster it will require you to go a little deeper uh, and the focus is really for you to be on that to have as much much oxygen come into your belly as possible right like that gets to be your focus and of course if it is your new we're not trying to go for perfection here and we're not trying to push too hard right So you do that for the first 30 minutes and then there is a request or requirement a call to do a primal scream right now you hear primal scream you're like bur primal scream yes and that is actually to just let out release it for some people it's probably one of the most beautiful parts of this process because in that space is where you actually give yourself a voice in that space you actually get to release all the emotions that you just had pent up and stuck there for so very long that you probably didn't even know that you had 
in that moment, you actually may find yourself crying. You might just find yourself having to just let go. And it's it's powerful and it's beautiful, right? Um, side note, if you are engaging in Revelation Breathwork and there is that space for all the time in the active breath, which you would be instructed by me, I will tell you, hey, time for your primal scream. Side note, just make sure to let your family members know before you start your process, hey, if you all hear me screaming, I'm okay, I'm not dying, no need to rush in to come and help me, okay? I just tell my clients that. And I also would have told my family and my daughter, etc., when I would do my own Revelation Breathwork sessions for myself. So um, after you do that, there would be two more songs of active breathing. And then we will come to the second part of the breathwork exercise, which is just you taking your regular breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth gently. And just in that space, giving yourself permission to hear all the things that you need, giving yourself permission to receive the downloads, the insights, the, the inspiration, whatever it is you need in that space you get what it is you need. Now, you will be getting all that you need throughout the entire process, but in that quiet, in that rest, in that relaxation, so many beautiful things happen as well. So while you are doing this active breathing, you could expect physiological things that would feel so foreign to your body, right? Because as I said, there is this increase in oxygen, which you're not, u- you're not used to. So some common side effects or... or yeah, if some common things that you would be um, there to experience or you may experience would be, you know, like feeling a bit lightheaded. So I'm just saying the lightheaded feeling, it, it's not abnormal and you're going to be pretty okay um, after in the rest period. It, everything goes back to normal. So you may find yourself being lightheaded. You will find tingling all over your body. Um yeah, tingling is a big one. You would find that your mouth might be perched together, you know, and it has this kind of kind of perched. <laughs> um, too bad you can't see me, guys, but it just has this perched effect. You may find that your fingers may become like claws. So if you could imagine a lobster claw, so your fingers might just cramp up in this type of way that just feels uncomfortable. Your body might feel as though it can't move. Um, and you're just like rooted on the ground, a type of way. You might find that, um, you know, there is this wiggling sensation. Like, you know, you want to wiggle your hands. You want to wiggle your body. Now, what, of course, this is, is that there is an increase in energy and a increase, increase in oxygen, right? So when all of this is happening, um, it may feel very uncomfortable, for you and of course if it does feel too uncomfortable this is all as a result of the extensive oxygen that is coming into your body with your diaphragm breath right with your big deep belly breath so if you find like it's becoming too much and it's too intense and it's becoming too uncomfortable just it's like with those big with those big deep belly breaths um if you just release the or slow the breathing down it's like taking your foot off of the um off of the gas right um as jason who is the owner of this who's the founder of this breath work says right so it's like taking your foot off of the gas when you take your foot off the gas now you're then it it helps reduce or slower the the space the fa- the pace of the energy moving through your body right um so those are some sensations that you could expect to experience um sometimes you might feel you know your mouth might become dry your throat might become dry from of course having your mouth open just going in through your mouth and out through your mouth so having water um, nearby is also a good thing to do additionally um you could lay flat on your back so of course guys how crazy am i so i didn't start about how this should work right so it's ideally um, this is something for you to do laying down flat on your back. You put one hand on your chest, another on your belly. Um, you could have your feet up for back support. So you could have your feet down flat. No need for a pillow or any of these sorts behind. We don't want your legs crossed, etc. Right. So we just want the energy to be able to flow freely through your body. Um, What's another thing? Oh, temperature. So you may find yourself becoming super sweaty during the process or you may find yourself becoming super cool, right? So either way, because you're not sure how this is going to swing, have a blanket just in case, right? Now, 
from all the experiences that I've had and from clients who've shared their feedback with me, the truth is, um, when you first start this process, the first song or two, you may be just in your monkey brain. You know, there'll be a lot of resistance. I personally, um, and this may not be a good analogy, but I'm being honest here. Sometimes it feels as though going to a workout that you really don't want to go. So, you know, you're going to this workout and you're just like, oh my God, I have to do this. Yeah. So the first song or two, there may be resistance and we'll be hearing the chatter in your head like, oh gosh, what kind of song is this? Who sang this song? Am I breathing correctly? Um, am I going too fast? Am I going too slow? If it's in a group session, you'll be like, why are these people songing like that? And it'll be in your monkey brain for quite some time. However, the more that the more that you release, the more that you surrender, the more that you decide to stay with your breath, the greater the breakthrough, the greater the release, the greater the clarity, just the greater the experiences. And of course, that would not come easy to everybody, but it is just really a call for you to trust the process, right? And I define revelation breath work as that safe space within yourself to get out of your monkey brain with all the overthinking over analysis the over just being stuck and just feeling overwhelmed like getting out of that and actually dropping into your body and connecting to something bigger than you connecting to something greater than you and um what makes this so beautiful is that your breath does the work what makes this so beautiful is that you get to experience a unique encounter with the spirit of god with the spirit of yourself with whatever you resonate but it's certainly something bigger than you it's it is like a gift to be in present in the moment and if i have to be so honest there's not much words that i could use to describe what revelation breathwork in terms of the experience is so yes there is all the biology um, and the physiological effects to speak about what breathwork does on terms in terms of your nervous system regulation and your parasympathetic whoever and your like all those things yeah that's great and that's beautiful and you could probably find that information anywhere on google but this type of active breathing which is rooted in spiritual psychology is so 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 integral when it comes to your healing when it comes to your inner work when it comes to your transformation when it comes to discovering who you are at a soul level when it comes to learning hey this is where i'm trying to go understanding self-acceptance right um i had a client who i did a one-on-one session with her um and she's from another caribbean island and Believe it or not, her first breathwork session with me, she was able to have detailed memory of a traumatic sexual experience that she had when she was a child that she heard of, but she could not connect to. But she experienced a lot of dissociation in the gym and just generally. And she knew that there was something more to unpack. She knew that there was a part of her that needed healing that was preventing her from connecting to people the way that she wanted to. And in that session, and of course, that is hard, that is painful, that is intense to actually know physically now, in the now, what had happened to her. But it was also one of the most empowering um, experiences she had because now that she knew she also knew what she was dealing with and the things that she had to do in order to repair and heal and forgive and let go from that past situation that she could not remember cognitively but her body remembered right um, and then so many other testimonies from clients who just realized that in that moment they were able to let go and forgive and see where the root of their anger came from and realize their their own self-worth and their value, right? Now, for full disclaimer, I'm saying all this beautifulness here, but I don't want you to put an attachment on breath work. I don't want you to put an attachment on what uh, being part of a breath work session would be. I would... I would always advise coming in with the most open mind 
and with a powerful intention that is integrity for you and let your breath do the work let god do the work let spirit do the work let whatever it is you are here to get whatever it is you are signing up to get be exactly what it is you need without having any expectation and attachment to what the outcome would be from my personal experience i have sobbed cried screamed felt lots of emotional build up after doing these sessions because of whatever i received whatever download i got during that time and then there were other times where i just loved and i danced and i felt so good and i felt so good and so at peace and just out of this world beautiful and then there were sessions where there was so much resistance that i felt as though i got nothing out of it and i guess on those sessions is where i would compare it to going to gym when you don't really want to go but i know in those moments even in those moments if i did not get any download if i didn't get any insight that i still got what i needed because just breathing just general belly breaths that we usually take for granted because the average person does shallow breathing right on their chest so the average so the actual experience of just doing those um belly chest exhale just that even for a short period of time in the midst of all my resistance i know that would have still served me because there would have been nervous system regulation there would have been um me getting out of that flight and fright response and actually being into a state into a space of okay this is good like we are good like all is good here so um i said a lot I don't know if I answered all the questions or maybe I did not because there are always more questions to ask. But just for um, just for further clarification, you know, what do you feel? So frequently asked question may be, what is the, um, like, could you go too deep? Could you go too deep and too far and you feel as though you can't come back? Personally, I don't think you could go too deep and too far because at the end of the day, it's not as though you're being like you're going out of this world and you have no control over your breath, right? So as I mentioned before, when you are doing the breathing exercises, if you feel as though you are going too deep, too far and you want to take, um, you just want to take, like you want, like you're afraid, then you could get to put your, you could pull the brakes, lessen the breathing right on top of which i know that your body our bodies are super intelligent so it knows what you are ready to release and what you are not right um would you feel as though you're like high or if you're safe or you're just out of your body um no not really so your body will be buzzing so you as i mentioned you will get the tingling feeling you might get all these different sensations as though you are high in inverted commas but based on the science you are safe nothing is going to happen as soon as you get back to that rest period at the end of the breath work you would be perfectly fine um do you need to know anything about breath work my girl my boy as i said when i first came across this uh, more than a year ago i had no clue what breath work was I didn't even try to do research too much in terms of what it was. All I knew that there was this call for, um, there was this intuitive call for me to participate. And I did. And it was completely 150% life changing. As a matter of fact, because of me doing that is why my coaching has evolved. So my coaching has moved not from co- has moved from cognit- cognitive or talk therapy alone to me ensuring that somatic experiences are part of my my practice so no client that i've had over the last 10 months specifically have had coaching with me without having that somatic experience and that would vary from this actual breathwork sessions to somatic experiences of all different varieties right um the intention for you being here is for you to cry scream get it all out release so there is no judgment if you are groaning and moaning and crying like this is what i am here to do as being a facilitator of healing through revelation breathwork which is what i did my training is we want that we want that for you to let it all out because all i want you to do 
is to give yourself what you need and my only rule is to just hold space for you as lovingly as I possibly can um you know if you come with the intention to release a particular emotion to let things go um yeah most certainly once there is an intention you most certainly would get what it is you need because your breath is going to do the work god is going to be right there with you if my philosophy is if you believe that god is within you right which means he's in your body if you believe in your intuition your intuition is never in your head intuition is always in your body so if you have a tool which is breath work in this case that allows you to get out of your head and into your body it means that you are even way more connected than you are in an average moment because you have actually tuned in 150 percent to your body which is where god resides which is where your intuition resides and that is just my personal belief right so um in terms of your mental health you know like the purpose of this right the purpose of breath work in my belief and trying to connect to your body is to actually improve your mental health right and mental health is actually based on your emotional health and breath work which is to get out of your head and into your body which is going to bring up so much emotional related things for you is going to 100 percent support your mental health because you are starting to regulate that nervous system you are starting to pay attention to the emotions that come up and release things that come up and so inevitably yes this process does support your mental health now full disclaimer if you are engaging in this type of work and things come up things a lot of things come up for you you know in terms of trauma that is just too much to process I am highly saying to have support, have support in case that the emotional buildup is too much after the fact and it feels very difficult to navigate, right? Um, so if it's a coach, if it's a therapist, if it's a safe space, as a matter of fact, you could also reach out to me. And if you feel as though, hey, I need greater support in a one-on-one capacity to navigate what has come up for me, then you are more than welcome to do so right so this hair i hope i covered all the grounds um but breath work revelation breath work specifically is so dear to me not because i give a shit so much about the biology but because i have seen and heard an experience from other clients as well as myself the absolute power and transformation that it has done for me in terms of my emotional health in terms of my emotional regulation in terms of my nervous system um, regulation and based on the feedback that i've gotten from clients who have served in this one-on-one capacity they usually say latina i i don't have words i don't have words really to describe what that experience was and as i said the more you do this work you actually would have a different experience every time you do it right um bonus if you decide to say hey latina let me do a breathwork session with you the breath itself is one that you get to implement anytime you feel like right so pro tip so i don't do 45 minutes every single day that's kind of a stretch for me um but at least twice for the week I would once for the once for the week I would give myself a forty five minute session, but twice for the week I will do ten minutes ten minutes before I go to bed, and I mean it would vary of course so depending on where I know or feel as though I am emotionally or mentally if I have a challenge going to sleep, um, I would just engage in that for about three songs two songs i'll be doing my active breathing and on the third song is where i'll have my rest and i usually go straight to sleep like a baby so this type of breath this type of breathing technique exercise whatever you want to call it is really good if you are somebody who has anxiety if you feel depressed if there is um you know a lot of fear there's a lot of there's just a lot going on emotionally and you just can't seem to get past that block and secondly if you feel disconnected there's no shame in that i think 
um not i think one of my trauma responses is to disconnect like i could just disconnect and just go somewhere else and just not be connected to things or people when i am in a trauma response so if you feel as though you know you are ready to dive take a deeper dive into your own self-discovery journey and really just connect to who you are on a deeper level then this is for you all right guys so that brings us to the end of this episode um breath work what is revelation breath work let me know if this resonated which part of it stood out for you would you be coming to a breath work session with me and full plug here there is going to be a session uh very very soon revelation breath work session you could also decide to invest in one-on-one sessions with me or you could do one-on-one sessions over a four-week period as well so there is the option to do it standalone so just one-off session or to have breath work and coaching with me and soon you could check out my new event called breathe and release and that is actually 50 no what am i saying 44 dollars and 14 cents usd or ttd 300 dollars to be in part of So, thank you so much for sticking out with me. If you have any questions, do let me know. I love you and I will talk with you soon.